since the day we became aware of the world, we have been hearing about the greatness of the pharaohs. A very strange civilization, full of gas. To some extent, it has become routine. Normally, I am no longer amazed when someone talks to me about the greatness of the pharaohs and the pyramids. And all this talk is not because, it is not great or anything, I do not mean this, but we have heard this talk a lot. But today I'm coming to break the rule and amaze you. Because I bring you a riddle that Herodotus said about. It is a greater mystery than the building of the pyramids. It is the mystery of the lost Egyptian labyrinth. I wonder what the pharaohs hid in it, and why did they build it in the first place, and why did the excavation project for the lost Egyptian labyrinth stop for some time? What was the Egyptian government afraid of being discovered? Your coffee, my dear friend, the Almighty, because we will say very important words. But before we start, believe me, the like supports me very much and makes the video spread. I hope you like and please subscribe to the channel. With you Cleopatra channel. All our lives occupied, our brain pyramids. And the secret of building it as if it is the only puzzle in the ancient Egyptian civilization. To the extent that we did not lose sight of other wonders. Historians said that there is no side of the pyramids, and there is really no need. The puzzle of the maze that I will talk to you about now. Really very strange and left me confused. And I read the topic. What is the secret of the lost maze? When Herodotus visited Egypt around 2500 years ago. He saw the labyrinth and entered it and started describing it. He said that the Greeks or the Greeks, if they gathered all the buildings they built, would not describe anything of its greatness and cost, the Egyptian labyrinth. The maze is located next to Morris Lake. Which is now called Lake Karan. Its place is in Fayum Governorate, and the labyrinth is very huge. To the extent that it exceeds the area of the temple, Karnak and Luxor together. It has been called the Labyrinth of the Answer because it has 3,000 rooms. Divided into two rolls. An above-ground floor made of a giant block of stone and an underground floor. Each floor consists of 1,500 rooms, and their total is 3,000. The maze had 12 great gates, 6 on the right side and 6 on the left side. The strange thing is that they are connected to each other by tortuous paths, so that those who enter do not know where they entered or where they left. The important thing is that he continued his words and said, that he really entered the maze. Unfortunately, he only went upstairs. As for the lower floor, when he came to fear the priests, they prevented him from entering. Because this place is not afraid of anyone, because it contains the tombs of very important kings, and the most important of them are twelve kings who built the maze. This is not the sacred crocodile tombs, which were worshipped by the ancient Egyptians. And when Herod entered the upper floor, the maze was really impressed. This is because of the complex rooms that no one knows, first of all. And had it not been for one of the priests with him, and with him a map, he would never have left it. And they say that he saw a very strange court. Every time he walks through it, he feels that there is no other. This is other than the rooms and temples on which inscriptions are drawn, in the utmost beauty. In addition to the secret manuscripts, which are difficult for anyone to see. And before you tell me that Herdot is talking not true, and that this labyrinth is talking salvation. I would like to tell you that there are many historians who talked about it. Among them, for example, Berlin, Strabo, and Herodotus settled for me. If Herodotus is a liar, then it is not reasonable that all historians are liars. But forget about all this and come tell me why the Egyptians, build a giant edifice like a maze. You know that building a maze costume costs how much time? Frankly, I am not convinced that it is about temples and rooms. Surely there is a riddle or secret to hide the Egyptians, inside the maze. The strange thing is that the priests were trying to hide the lower floor of the labyrinth. In any way. Also, all the historians who talked about it, no one said where it reached and what its end. Despite the great historians of the time and their good relationship with Egypt. However, none of them were able to fear the lower floor of the maze. What is the story exactly? And in order to know, let me tell you some possibilities of what it could be, that the Egyptians hid in the labyrinth. In the one who believed the story of the priests and said that it is possible, there are mummies of important Egyptian kings. And that the Egyptians did it to protect the mummies from being stolen by thieves. 
and in the one who said that the labyrinth preserved papyri, about the secret of building the pyramids, and that how the Egyptians were able to build it, were even no information about who built it in the first place. As for the third explanation, it is a possibility, keeping important secret papyri in the labyrinth. The papyri talk about science and knowledge which was transmitted by the people of Atlantis to the Egyptians, according to the legend that says the survivors of the flood of Atlantis went to Egypt. And they transferred their knowledge to the Egyptians. But all these are hypotheses, and you have the right to believe them or deny them, and the question that must have been in your mind remains, has the lost maze been searched for? There is someone who finds it and locates it. So that we can travel, you and I, to Fayum, and hear together the story of the lost labyrinth. The first attempt to explore the maze was in 1842. And this is through the scientific mission, which was sent by the King of Russia in Germany, Friedrich Wilhelm. The mission began to excavate in Fayum, next to the Pyramid of Amin Hat III. And that the mission at that time was able to reach the beginning of the labyrinth, but due to bad weather conditions, the mission project stopped. As for the second attempt, it was more serious, and it was in 1889 by the English archaeologist. Flanders Street, and that the archaeologist was then excavating, in Fayum, next to the Pyramid of Hawara, and he was very impressed by the words, what Herodotus said about the labyrinth. It is strange that after excavations they found some debris in the area. From then until now, the wreckage found was proven to be the wreckage of the remnants of the labyrinth. Or the Fig Palace, as they call it, based on what they fear to get lost inside and write that the one who built the labyrinth was King Amenhotep III. And this is because the maze is very close to the palace he built. But many of the men who read it are convinced that the remains are wreckage. Not for the maze. It may be the remains of the temple, not more or even the upper part of the remains of the labyrinth. But the rest of the maze is still underground. And we need to dig it up. Someone will ask a question now, so we don't explore what the problem is. It is not possible that they have no time. Adequate equipment and devices to discover the maze. Let me tell you, my dear friend, that the last attempt was excavated in 2008. The attempt was in the same place, and it took place near the Pyramid of Menhotep III. This time, I gather researchers from Belgium, in cooperation with the Belgian University of Jing. And they decided to do a comprehensive survey of the belly of the earth in the Hawara area and this is to make sure if there is a temple or any traces that are underground. Of course, the mission at that time worked in cooperation with archaeological experts in Egypt. They had their stomachs and their modern technologies with them. The strange thing is that the scanning devices showed that it is similar to the rocky structures. Similar to ordered structures. But these structures are at a depth of 9 meters underground. Well, this is good, that there is hope for the existence of the maze but at great depth. Of course, you are waiting for the rest of the story, and waiting for me to tell you that they dug and found the maze. But I would like to surprise you, my friend, if nothing happened. And that no one explored this labyrinth in the first place. And you did not know the news, because when the mission came, it announced the results of the research at Janeb University. The Supreme Secretary of the Egyptian Antiquities Authority, in order to stop the announcement, and also stop the process of searching for this maze in the first place. I also watched all the reports that talked about the labyrinth and the existence of the labyrinth. No official results have been published about the project in Egypt for two full years. The experts preferred waiting to announce the project to excavate the labyrinth. And when will they return to work on their research, but unfortunately it is useless. To some extent, I repeat, the funder of the project in 2010 to publish all the results of the research related to the excavation of the maze. This is on a website, and the question here is why the Egyptian authorities did not know about the results of the project, and why did the project stop at all? You imagine a great discovery like the discovery of the maze. What is possible to enter the national income of the country? If it was discovered, and surely the labyrinth will have answers, a lot about the gases of the Egyptian civilization. In general, there are many questions that we may have, answers in the coming years. But with all honesty and life, it does not work to be wronged. Never the Supreme Council of Antiquities. This is because the area, unfortunately, is full of groundwater. 
and digging in it will be very difficult. Secondly, sometimes there are undisclosed secrets. It affects national security, and it is not useful to announce it. But now I care about your opinion, you are convinced of the existence of the great labyrinth. Nor is this just a legend passed on by historians. If only the maze was real. With the same descriptions described by Herodotus. Do you think that it is buried under the sand, or has it been calmed down for two thousand years, as many opinions say? And I wonder if the remains of the debris that exist are the remains of the maze. Of course, my dear friend, your opinion is very important to me. I hope you say it in the comments and please subscribe to the channel.